Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's talk about the Black Stars team and some other latest updates. I know right now a lot of you guys are angry, so yeah, I'm even if you get a notification, it will be really hard for you to come and enjoy the video. But you know, Ghana is the only country that we have, so we only have to make sure that things will be done right and get our glory days back. And that is what we have to do. Now, after the humiliating lose against USA last night, or I'll say today, we actually spent the night, you know, watching the football. So, yes, Coach Chris Hitton, he has come out to apologize to Ghanaians. He says that, yes, he's sorry. And he's going to make sure that he will build the team. And that is what we want. So, we are going to check out the West from Coach Chris Hilton. We'll also take some quick ones from Jordan Pierre Ayu. He has also spoken on the game that Ghana we played. We'll check it out. And the next games for Ghana Black Stars. Very, very crucial. Those games will determine whether Coach Chris Hilton, after this fire going to him, he's going to actually pick something from that and make sure he'll call the right players, put the players' mentality on, you know, on track or on the path and we will get the best out of the players and also try to drop some of them so let's talk about all this and more i'm also going to take your views under the last video is very key that is the main or one of the main reasons why i'm making this video to take your views and your opinions on the match that gonna be played today so before we delve into it anytime you join us please don't forget to drop us a like like the video after that if you are new subscribe to this channel put us on post notifications so that anytime you drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy leave your comments in the comment box as always i'll be bringing you some shout outs and read out some of your messages so let's go into it now yesterday why am i saying yesterday today yes we lost to um, usa first half and the game was done for us 4-0 and it was really bad uh, we've already gone into it so coach chris sitting after the game these are some of the key points that he um, indicated during the prima um you know post-match conference in usa he said i'm sorry i'm, I'm very sorry and i take responsibility for the poor performance against the usa if you ask me if i feel like i'm the right person for this job the answer is yes according to him he says he's the right person to continue to coach the black stars team let's check this shortly after that we will continue if you're asking me if i if i feel i'm the right person yes yes i do um the result today is is something that is hugely disappointing um, we have two games in November, two big games in November, two big World Cup games in November and it's our responsibility and my responsibility as coach to turn these bad defeats and bad performances uh, into better ones and ones where we can win both games. Alright, yes, so that is it from Coach Chris Hilton. He says that yes, he's very confident that he is the man for the job and he's in charge. He's going to make sure that everything will be put in place. Now, Jordan Pierre was also on the seats and um, you know, Coach Chris Hilton answered a lot of questions saying that he's going to make sure that he'll build Blaster's team to make sure that, you know, they will improve. He asked, many were asking him questions about, you know, what he's not doing right. The full video is on Ghana Football Association app. Sometimes if you use their video, they'll come and give you copyright. So sometimes we have to maneuver our way straight. Yes, so Jordan Ayu also said that yes, um, this game has actually opened their eyes. He is now known that blasters we are at a certain level, so they are going to learn from here and move forward because most of the players were also inexperienced. This is a short one from Jordan Pierre Ayu. Well, um, to answer your question, um, first of all, um, I just feel like it's a matter we just need a bit of more time because, uh, it's a new group, a lot of new players, and most of the players are really inexperienced. So it's not easy, but we're working on it because we know we don't have time. And this type of games is a reality check. And now we know our level, and we know we have to keep working hard to to get this cohesion together and to learn how to play together and all those things. So it will come with time, but. We all know that in football there's no really time, so we're, we're pushing hard and we're trying our best to to make to have better performances as a team, and with time it will come. All right, yes. So that is it from Jordan Pierre Ayu. According to him, 
right now um, they are going to go back and make sure that they will improve as a team and come out with some good result don't forget the next games for ghana it is the world cup qualifiers the world cup is going to happen in usa mexico and canada 2026 we cannot afford not to go to this world cup if you're ghanaian and you're watching me especially if you're in ghana this is opportunity for you to go to the world cup and also enjoy the world cup after that you can decide to come home and enjoy more or you will stay there and enjoy more and more in usa or canada many don't want to go to mexico including myself you know yes yeah. so the World Cup is going to be interesting in Ghana. In November, we have two games. The first game, we will play against Madagascar in Ghana here. Otto Ado defeated Madagascar in Cape Coast. I was there. We defeated them three goals to nil. Um, yes, we had Afenejan scoring that day. We had, um, you know, Osma Bukhari also scored that day. Kudus Mohamed also scored in that game. So, Madagascar at home. At home. Chris Sweetin. <sighs> because right now we are not able to create chances, our play is not nice, everything. The players who are very lackadaisical like on the pitch and we have a lot of work to do in our team. So Coach Chris Sweetin, if you are the man to make sure that things will be put in place, yes, you must, you must take bold decisions, drop some players if they are not dedicated enough or if they are not patriotic enough because you need the results as a coach and that is it. Some players that you are calling them um you know there's a lot of fire going on him and i'm even hearing some rumors that maybe the fa might decide to sack him if they they, they can get the way you know but i don't want to go into that because those ones are just mere rumors so on 13th november in ghana i know this match will be played in kumase because right now kumase is accepted by CAF. so yes ghana madagascar 13th november I'll bring you all the updates. We'll be there to also cover it for you. You know, we shouldn't leave the blasters at that place. Uh -huh. So, yes, that is it. After that, then 21st November, 21st of November, we will travel to go and play against Comoros. Comoros. We have some business with them. You know, last AFCON, they defeated Ghana 3-2. We had record and Ayu, and it was really bad, you know. And we have to now do well and beat Comoros. If you want to go to the World Cup, don't even go and get a draw. You have to just win your matches. No matter whether you are playing home or away, try to win. Qualify before you think about anything else. So, Coach Christian, yesterday, he indicated that yes. Uh, I'm said, I would say this morning, he indicated that yes. He knows um, the tax ahead. We have to make sure that um, we will win our next matches. He is now promising us. He promised us against USA. It didn't work. And right now, let's hope that things will work for Ghana. So 13th and 21st of November, we will be there and bring you every update that you want on this channel. Afterwards, then we will come and play against Cape Verde. That will be in January 14th in the AFCON itself and some other updates coming in. So these are some of the latest updates. The team, they are going to depart today. Yes, most of the players are even leaving. Some have even left. Let me put it that way. In Yaki, we also travel a span of, um, you know, close to 20 hours. I think 16 to 20 hours. So he will spend barely a day on the travel from USA to Spain so i mean what's that about they are waiting for him to go and play against barcelona he has been doing well i've been saying it we should use him as a right winger but he will come and he will go and play at a different position so yes guys that is it let me take some of your views as well so chris Sitting, he has apologized to Ghanaians and he's also said that he's the man for the job well we will stay for more updates from him jordan you have also spoken and some more other updates talking about the black stars next games and more um let me go to your views and opinions and everything before i take leave of you michael says um the coach must be sacked period well hmm, really interesting millicent um anand says he pay me a set alarm for this game i wake up 4 a.m just to watch the, the, the this embarrassing game okay millicent hmm, not you, you alone some of us we didn't even sleep at all not to even talk of setting alarm first of all they said hey erade and in guasia penny hmm, charlie no be small. Alpha Dollar says coach must be sacked. Okay. Um, Sports News Ghana Black Star said we need fast players. The slow players create fouls and penalties. The Americans were faster. Yes, that's true. Yusa says point of correction. He is not a coach. I mean, he does not deserve the title. Come on, he's a coach. He's coaching a lot of clubs, you know. Ernest, um, Ernest Nsai, okay, says. What a horrible team. Hmm. It was really disgusting, you know. Apple Nawa A says, How can you blame the coach 
when these professional players didn't um, do their work or their job the coach needs to fire some of the players those calling for artistically abi you see your eye hey charlie everyone is fighting for their interest to oh, oscar um oscar says she okay oscar says she says the coach should be sacked okay um apple now i think i've taken one of your view already gm inox says um, it's too early to think of sacking the coach that thought isn't reasonable now the coach needs to um reorient um, or reorient um, his players call up okay okay reorientate maybe he's saying that like the coach should i mean to change the way that he calls some of the players and other stuff let me go forward and take more um kofi anno says this is the end of an era for the ghana black stars team without the right players and coaches they should forget about the afcon or the World Cup qualifiers is start making a full out of the nation like Ghana. I've lost confidence in the way we play. Um, losing seems to be what this team wants. It's hopeless. Okay. Well, Auntie Becky also says hi. Then she was in tears. Sorry, Auntie Auntie Becky. So Maxwell Maxwell in tears says hmm, Black Stars pioneer. Oh, Charlie Maxwell, no be some more. Then um, let me go to Kojo Deus. He says hmm, only him that he typed. <laughs> Kojo Deus, no be some more. Emmanuel Amane says really bad indeed. Sure. Um, then I have okay. Let me go. Luis Ewa says so. Thomas Partey was playing this game. Yes, he played. He played yesterday. He played lot of minutes you know Luis um, okay I think I've missed okay control says Uskeni I'm very sad I'm sad too you know it's not easy Angela Angela says I'm really disappointed and annoyed this is a horrible performance take heart Angela I've seen you Jacob AJ says we need Kofi Tre to be fit before Afcon yes Kofi Tre Ashimeru Tarek Lamte Jiku and to extend Amate and some other players we need them we need them we need them because Ha, this team cannot really give us that confidence going for especially our back line our defense very very poor on the ninth or in the past two games shadrach amegan says the coach must be sacked now before it's too late yo prince kofi says um why is it that every ghana uh, every day ghana is losing why always ghana oh charlie ahmed ismail says when you don't have a um, good pitch in your country um, that's what's happened to you. Give me one good um, page Ghana has now. For, um, then he brought the, you know, exhorting the leaders. But you know, um, I think we can't only blame this on the on the pages because Ghana, we've not had a lot of good pages in the past, but we've been playing some good football. The players, they train mostly outside in their good um, pitches outside Ghana. So I think we cannot use this one to make a case, you know. Yes. Um, then... Hmm, okay i think i'll just end it here because most of the messages are very very lengthy and i'll bring you more in my subsequent videos so guys let me know your thoughts in the comments box don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later